What's going on guys, today I'm checking out City Gridlock. Let me know in the comments down below what other games you want me to play and let's see how much traffic I can cause. So I'm pretty sure that this shows me where the cars are going to be spawning. We have one right turn and we have uh, two straight throughs which are going to be interfering with one another. I also have, I think these are speed limits, traffic limits. Maybe this shows how fast the traffic is actually moving. Uh, but I'm going to place down a traffic light in the middle right now and I can seemingly adjust the sequence of the lights as well. So to start with, I think I'm going to keep the right turn always green. Uh, so in both frames, I'm going to make it green so that, you know, cars just can keep going through because there's literally nothing interfering with them. And then in the first frame, I'm going to, I guess, allow these guys to go. And in the second frame, uh, or I mean, I guess I should allow these guys to go as well. No, because there's no traffic going there. So it doesn't matter that I don't think that really matters um, I'm going to select the second frame and in the second frame I'm going to stop these guys from going but these guys can always go there we go I'll do it this way road closed because nobody's going here anyway, and let's give this a try Perfect. We're two times speed right now. Let's go one times just to see really what's happening. So the right turn is always green. We got these guys going straight through the yellows. Actually, the greens are going straight through now. Perfect. Oh, and I reached the traffic efficiency target. So far, I'm terrible at creating traffic jams. <laughs> so I can stop the simulation, I guess. Oh, it's trying to give me the tutorial. I, I already figured it out, guys. Thank you. Very good. All right. Well, we can resume the simulation, but it seems like I already beat it. So let's go to the next level. Crazy, look at this place. All right, let's check out all our paths. There's a lot of crisscross going on. So I'm going to really, uh, really have to figure this out. Uh, but let's put some traffic lights in. Excellent. Let's select this guy right here. Oh my goodness. There's like, uh, there's like a whole, oh geez. So I get to control all of them at once. So I think for this one, I'm going to allow red to go first. Perfect. So red's going to go through here. Red's going to turn into here. And uh, life will be good. Now, I guess for the second frame, I'm going to stop red from going. Perfect. I think we can give this a try. So let's go. Oh, wow. Okay. We had a bit of an accident there. That's uh, that's interesting. Somebody tried to run a red light or something. <laughs> I mean, so far, we're reaching the first level of efficiency pretty quickly. So that's good. But I'm going to see if I can try to reach level three. Hey, hey, hey. Guys, calm down. Yeah, it's weird that these guys are on at the same time. Very peculiar. I'm gonna stop this for a second, and I'm going to adjust some things. The weird thing is that if I, in the first frame, if I turn off a traffic light, it basically closes that road up. I get it, I get it. If both of them are red, it's going to close the road up. Gotcha. That, that makes total sense. Let's reassess our frames here quickly. Right off the bat, red can go, and actually yellow can go here, because the greens pathway is locked, so we can do that. Now when we switch over to the next frame, red uh, basically gets stopped, and we actually need to stop yellow from going as well, and green can go. So I think this will actually be more efficient. Let's give this a try. All right, sweet, I reached level three. I'm curious to keep this running though, to see how, uh, you know, how high it can actually get the efficiency up. Not sure why accidents keep happening at this intersection. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. What? What the heck? <laughs> the guy like almost ran a red light. I think that's what happened. I don't know. Made a small change. So now yellow is actually going to be a straight through. Although it's interesting, even though I made the yellow path uh, green on both, uh, you know, basically green at the same time, they get through here and then they stop here because it turns red. So I don't actually know if that is more efficient. It's telling me it's more efficient. I'm going up to 73.44%, uh, but maybe maybe having a straight through pass isn't the most efficient way. Well, in any case, I achieved uh, the three levels of efficiency. So let's go on to the next level. Ooh, intersections priority signs, nice. Okay, so apparently this guy wants me to divert traffic into some business areas. Mandatory traffic points. All right, so let's check our paths out. Okay, so I guess for the yellow, I have to put a no straight through sign. And that way I will divert yellow through the neighborhood. Okay, but if I divert red through here, it's going to crisscross through yellow twice. Let's divert yellow. Let's put a no straight through sign here. Perfect, so yellow has to go there. Excellent. I'm not entirely sure what this sign does. What what does this sign do? I actually had to look up what this uh, yellow and white sign means because we don't have it in Canada. <laughs> so uh, I guess 
we're just gonna do that because it's got priority. I think this is fine. You can just go straight through. You don't have to stop. You don't really have to yield for anybody because they're not intersecting. So let's see how this goes. Is this going to make my efficiency better? Oh, my efficiency is going up. Nice. It's actually skyrocketing. Holy moly. Nice. I got tier two. Perfect. I was like, what's going on? And then I realized I can adjust those signs. That makes sense. Of course, I had to learn what the road signs meant. I mean, I know what the yield sign is, but I didn't know what the white and yellow diamond meant. We just don't have that in Canada. <laughs> we reached level three. This is nice. And all three traffic meters are green, or I guess, you know, getting there. They're not full, but uh, they're certainly doing well. I wonder if I can actually get rid of the, st of the traffic lights and make this more efficient. You know, just put, uh, just put signs up. Although my efficiency keeps going up. I want to see if I can be the 82% that I think is the, the record. Okay, keep going. You know what, let's stop this. I'm really curious to see what will happen if I remove this traffic light and I place down another one of these signs. We're going to yield this one and we're going to yield this one. Let's see what happens. Oh, I have an idea. Let's put a no straight through sign for the red. Now the red has to go there. Excellent. And now I need to adjust. Uh, I need this to be a yield. I need this to be straight through. Perfect. This straight through. Nice. Okay, this might be more efficient, guys. Oh, there we go. Efficiency is going up again, baby. I think. No, is it going down? Is it going down? Uh, why is it going down? Go back up. I thought this would be better. Red is not having a good time, man. Let's just give them all priority. Everybody gets priority. Everybody can go. And that's how we get traffic accidents. <laughs> I definitely think Red is not enjoying the fact that I am making them go all the way through the neighborhood there. I definitely think the more overall efficient setup here is to have uh, red go just straight through and have green yield, uh, even though green kind of hates it. But that's okay. Not my problem. Let's finish the level and move on to the next one. Oh, no left turn. Excellent. No right turn. Good stuff. City 3 with a budget of 1500. All right. Oh, man, this looks crazy. All right, let's check out our paths. Red seems to be a straight up straight through, which is interesting. I think we can divert green to go through this neighborhood here. So let's do a no left turn for green. Perfect. Now green has to go that way. Oh, except this traffic point is on this side of the road. So that doesn't help me. Interesting. Okay, so I guess uh, that doesn't make sense. I think what I'll do is I'll just divert blue, you know, so no left turn for blue and boom. And we have the whole uh, the whole shebang there. Now, the only thing now is this crazy intersection spot right here, which might be kind of traffic-y and not very efficient. So maybe I'll do no left turn for yellow afterwards, you know? I don't know. Does that make sense? What if I do a no right turn for yellow here and just kind of open it up that way, you know? That might actually work. That might actually work. Let's give that a try. This intersection is going to be pretty chill. I'm not going to put a traffic light here. I think I'm just going to let them... Uh, you know, figure it out on their own. That seems to be logical. You know, everybody's got priority. <laughs> we'll place another one here and basically say that yellow has priority and blue has to yield. Okay, let's do that. Put another one of those bad boys here. And they're not really intersecting, so they, they can all have priority as well. Lovely. Now here it's kind of interesting because yellow and green are actually merging into one. So I think I'm going to have to make... Hmm, I think I'm gonna have to make green yield, and then these guys have priority. I don't think I really need a sign here, but I guess let's put one anyway. I mean, I'm just spending more money at this point, right? So, that's literally all that's happening. But we can give them all priority as well. And then here, we'll place a traffic light. Which is actually kind of annoying, because they're both left turns. And they're like intersecting with one another, which isn't really good. I mean, typically they could make left turns all at once, right? I don't know how this works in this game because in real life, people can make left turns at the same time. Let's just sequence these in such a way that they can both make left turns at once. Ah, see the way the game is built, I think it's not going to work. I think they're actually going to like crash into each other. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, oh, see they are, they're intersecting with each other. Darn it, guys. Guys, calm down. Oh no, oh no, I've created traffic. I have officially created traffic. Uh, that's not good. That's uh, that's no bueno right there. <laughs> they are mad. I'm trying to understand. What? Accident? No. <laughs> oh no. Unless I just do it this way and make green go right, it might work. Might might be less accidents. Is my efficiency going to go up? Oh, my efficiency is going up again. Here we go. Nice. 
Can I reach level two? Come on. Come on. So close. Yes, I reached level two. Oh, validate last changes. Okay, I got to start over. I got to start over because I made a bunch of changes and it's freaking out. Guys, if there's, if there's a red, you got to stop. You can't just squeal through the intersection, okay? People are insane, dude. Crazy drivers. And it seems like for the most part, they're actually happy right now. Let's check out the paths again. So I've got blue diverting that way, green going left with the blue instead of intersecting with it. And I think that's actually helping quite a bit. I think I'm starting to figure this out, guys. Okay, we got the first milestone. Excellent. I think the trick is to have a long line as well and no, like, short paths where, where they can get bunched up, you know? I think that's the trick, all right? We're at two. Can I get to three? Well, we're almost at two. I, sh I shouldn't say we're at two when we're not actually at two yet. Why am I not getting to two anymore? <laughs> this is silly. I don't like this intersection right here. I think I'm going to make blue yield. Blue and uh, and what? And green? Yeah, blue and green should probably yield. I mean, that's how it should be in real life, you know? Although, like, if you're going straight, why are you yielding? It's, it's so silly. They stop anyway, even though they're going straight. Like, the green always goes straight but they stop to yield, and that makes no sense to me. Try to get three stars and everything here, guys. It's not its not working out. <laughs> what if we just, like, let them regulate themselves, you know? Get rid of this traffic light, and just, uh, just put this down and tell them they all have priority. Oh my god, it's actually somehow still working. Everybody goes, you go, you go, you go, everybody goes. And hey, they're all happy. That's good. Okay, so I actually redirected yellow a little bit. I made yellow go back uh, the normal way that it, it wants to go, as you can see. And it did raise my best score a little bit. Just a little bit, but now it's going back down. I don't know what's happening. Help, help. It's honestly because blue hates its life. Whenever I make blue stop or like wait, it hates its life. It's uh, it's very impatient, but the rest are like almost, well, red is at max and yellow is at max. But we're still not at efficiency three because blue hates its life. If I don't make them yield though, like it's gonna, it's gonna cause accidents. Oh my goodness, this is gonna go up more. It's going up more. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This game makes no sense. The traffic in this game makes absolutely no sense. Come on, am I gonna get three? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get three here. Yes! <laughs> I have to revalidate it though, but that's crazy, guys. Oh my goodness. None of this makes any sense. It, it honestly makes absolutely no sense because I'm not making them yield for one another, and that's not how real life works. This, this is not realistic. <laughs> it's fun in the game setting, but like I'm trying to apply like real life traffic logic and it just it doesn't work like that i've been at this level for so long i've cut out so much out of this video just so that i can actually like figure out what to do because i'm trying to do it the way like you know traffic works in real life or maybe the way traffic works in real life is uh is wrong and that's why we have so much traffic you know man this just became a very philosophical video you know maybe we're doing it all wrong and this game has it all figured out <laughs> i don't know but see they didn't yield for each other and there was an accident. So, I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> oh, jeez. At least Blue is finally happy. Come on, give me that three. I'm almost there. 79.99%. I'm 0.01% away, dude. Come on, you guys got this. Yes, there we go. Finish the level. Oh my goodness. Uh, I, I can't believe that's what it took. Just to literally let them, like, do whatever the heck they want to do. That's like, I'm going to put up a screenshot on the screen right now of basically how it ended up looking and it doesn't make any sense to me, guys. No entry sign. Perfect. Traffic light control time frame. Interesting. Another time frame for the traffic light pattern. That's cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, City Gridlock. Uh, it's definitely, definitely a challenging one. And ooh, that, that... That road intersection does not look good. But um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought. Let me know if you think real life traffic logic actually applies to this game or not. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.